All right, folks, welcome to this video on tips for new ham radio operators. With an interest in ham radio spanning about 10 years, I've experienced firsthand the incredible opportunities this hobby offers to learn, connect, and communicate. Ham radio, often referred to as amateur radio, or maybe the reverse is true, is both a personal hobby and a public service. It allows people to communicate across local and global distances without relying on commercial networks. Beyond communication, it fosters unique community that values learning, supports public safety, and encourages continuous exploration in the science of radio. Today we'll go through five foundational tips designed to help new ham radio operators feel confident as they begin to connect effectively within the ham community and inspire lifelong curiosity. Let's dive into what makes ham radio a rewarding and exciting pursuit. Tip number one, understanding licensing and regulations. Licensing is fundamental to operating within the legal and regulated boundaries in ham radio. Operating without a license is illegal and can lead to fines or equipment confiscation, as amateur bands are specifically allocated for controlled use. In the U.S., licensing levels are divided into technician, general, and amateur extra, with each higher level offering expanded frequency privileges. Studying for these exams requires knowledge of radio basics, regulations, and operating practices. Excellent resources include the American Radio Relay League, ham radio license manuals, online courses, and practice exams available on sites like hamstudy.org. Local amateur radio clubs often offer study sessions and mentorship to help you succeed. By achieving licensing certification, new operators not only gain access to the airwaves, but also contribute to maintaining a respectful and interference-free radio environment. Looking to elevate your amateur radio experience? Join the American Radio Relay League, the ultimate community for ham radio enthusiasts. By joining the ARRL, you will get access to educational resources to build your knowledge, exclusive publications, and opportunities to engage in public service. As a member, you'll enjoy access to four digital magazines. Take a deep dive with QST and build your skills. If not the ARRL, then who? We're the ones protecting the ham radio spectrum in Washington, D.C., ensuring our voices are heard. Use code APE1 for a free hydration pack with a one- or three-year subscription. Tip number two, learn operating procedures and etiquette. Operating etiquette and procedures are essential for effective and respectful communication in the amateur radio community. Every operator has a unique identifier or call sign which they must announce at the beginning and end of a transmission and every 10 minutes during ongoing communication. This not only ensures accountability, but allows for other operators to identify participants and potential interference concerns. Using the phonetic alphabet, like saying November 4, Alpha Bravo Charlie for N4ABC, avoids miscommunication, especially in poor signal conditions. Signal reporting is another core practice where operators use RST codes to convey signal clarity. RST codes stand for readability, strength, and tone. These simple protocols enhance both communication efficiency and the sense of professionalism in amateur radio. By mastering these basics, new operators can communicate clearly, contribute to the community positively, and help maintain respectful and organized communications. Tip number three. Start with the right equipment. For newcomers to ham radios, selecting the right equipment is a foundational step that can shape your operating experience. Handheld transceivers, or HTs, are highly recommended as a starting point. They're affordable, portable, and allow for local communication, often with 5 watts of power. HTs are perfect for getting accustomed to the basics and local repeater networks. Mobile radios are the next level, suitable for car setups or as desktop units. These radios generally provide 25 to 50 watts of power, enabling broader coverage and better transmission quality than HTs. Finally, those looking to explore high-frequency bands will find that base station radios offer the most comprehensive functionality and other power options for long-distance communications. Each equipment type offers unique advantages, so it's important to consider both your operating goals and budget. Start simple, explore what's available, and upgrade as you develop your preferences and skills. Tip 4. Join local clubs and online communities. Joining a local amateur radio club or online community is one of the best ways to accelerate your learning and grow in the ham radio community. Clubs offer invaluable access to collective knowledge, 
hands-on demonstrations, and technical advice that can help demystify the challenges new operators often face. Engaging in group activities, such as field days, public service events, and competitions let you gain practical experience while building relationships with other operators. Online resources are also a major part of today's ham radio experience, with forums, social media groups, and mentorship programs readily available for ongoing support. Many experienced operators, known as Elmers, actively mentor beginners, guiding them through station setup, troubleshooting, and best practices. This community support creates a positive environment where learning and sharing knowledge are central, benefiting both you and the broader amateur radio community. Tip 5. Explore and experiment with different modes and activities. Ham radio offers an impressive range of communication modes and specialized activities, each adding new layers of enjoyment and learning. Digital modes, such as FT8, are increasingly popular due to their efficiency with low power setups, making them accessible for beginners. FT8 and PSK31 and other modes require minimum power, yet enable clear communication, even with weak signals. Traditional modes like single sideband voice and Morse code CW are foundational, with CW being especially effective under challenging signal conditions. Operators who master these modes can communicate efficiently, regardless of signal strength. Beyond basic communication, specialized activities such as satellite communications, moon bounce, and competitive contests open up unique experiences for ham radio operators. These activities allow for global reach and offer a rewarding blend of technical skills and community engagement, keeping the hobby fresh and endlessly rewarding. As we conclude, let's recap the essential tips that will set you on the path to a successful ham radio journey. Start by understanding licensing regulations, follow best practices and communications etiquette, choose the right equipment, connect with the broader ham radio community, and finally explore various modes and activities to find out what interests you the most. Amateur radio is a continually evolving hobby that rewards curiosity, learning, and community engagement. As you grow, keep building on your knowledge and remember that every experienced operator started as a beginner. For further learning, explore resources like the ARRL Handbook, apps like hamstudy.org, and online communities for continuous support. The ham radio world is vast. Embrace the journey and enjoy the many connections you'll make along the way. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below, and I'll do my best to respond. As always, thanks for watching.